Hey guys, I'm Deb Rayleigh with the Social Tech Team and in today's video I want to walk you through a, a great feature on Facebook and it's called the Creator Studio. Now the Creator Studio is a tool that is based in Facebook that allows you to do scheduling into your pages um, both on Facebook and it allows you to schedule on your Instagram um, feed and in your IGTV. So not only can you do your postings, but you can also see some metrics to see how things are performing. So it's a great tool if you're trying to get everything scheduled out for the week and you don't have to keep jumping around from different screens. It's all right here on your desktop. So let's get started and let me show you the Creator Studio in Facebook, all right? So here we are in the Creator Studio and the Creator Studio is looking at all of the business pages that are associated with your um, Facebook login. So here at the top in the blue menu you have your Facebook and if you have this link also to Instagram, if you click on the Instagram it'll show you your Instagram business account. So that's how you toggle back and forth between the two. Instagram will be in purple, Facebook will be in blue. One of the easiest ways to access the Creator Studio, when you're in your ordinary, regular, everyday Facebook, right here in the blue search bar, you can type in the words Creator Studio, and it'll give you a shortcut right here. And that's just the easiest way to pop over into the Creator Studio. Okay, so once we're here, you want to, I'm not gonna go through everything in Creator Studio, I'm just gonna show you a couple of little things here. But um, it, again, it's identifying all of the pages that you have connected to your account. So if you're wanting to post on a specific Facebook page, it's important that you select just that one page. So here we go, we're gonna say, this is the page where we're going to uh, review all the metrics. So you can see recent posts. It'll look at videos you've done, lives you've done, um, still images that you've done uh, over a seven day period. And it'll tell you how many people viewed it and how much engagement you had. Okay. You can also from here go live um, into your Facebook business page instead of going to the page itself. So you can kind of see everything in one place. So if you're wanting to create a post, you just simply click on the post something area and your little box pops up over on the right hand side and here is where you would create your post. You'll see this looks very much like it would if you were just on your business page. So here I'm gonna say, I'm gonna uh, create my post that's gonna be coming up. So let me get this set up over here. Okay, so you can see this is something I'm going to be scheduling uh, for a future day. So I've got my verbiage in here. I've got my image uploaded. I could have created an event. I could have said I'm going live. So you can see this is all the same as if I was just creating this on my business page. And I'm going to schedule this to show up at a future date. So I'm going to say tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. And I'm going to schedule that. There we go. So now that post is scheduled. So if I go to my content library on the left hand side, I can see um, my posts that I'm going to have scheduled. So here this shows all posts. If I look at my scheduled posts, there it is. Uh, well, there's one that's scheduled. The other one's going to be popping up once it finish, pro finishes processing. Okay. Um, and so this is where your posts are going to be found. And then your insights, of course, are here and your sound collection. Isn't that great that you have that on pages now? So all of these different features are located in the Creator Studio and so you can quickly schedule things one right after another after another. All right, now if I wanted to go into Instagram and schedule something, I can also schedule here. So the way you go about scheduling something in Instagram is I'm gonna create the post right up here and it's asking, do I want this to show up on my Instagram feed or do I want this to show up on IGTV? Now, if I put this in IGTV, of course, that's going to be a video. So it can be a longer uh, product demonstration or something like that. And your Instagram feed would have more of your still images. So you might be wondering, well, how do I get it into my stories? Maybe most of your people are connecting to you through your stories. Anything that you have in Instagram feed or in IGTV, you can share those posts to a story, which is what we've done here in these, um, so that from the story, they can see a little snippet and click through to actually see your post. So uh, same process as before, if I click on Instagram feed, a little box pops up. It says, this is the account that I wanna post it to. 
here's where I'm going to write my caption, here's where I'm going to add my picture content, and there's where I'm going to publish it. So let's go ahead and um, enter this information. Okay, now you see I've created a uh, some status uh, information here on my Instagram post. I've added a picture, coincidentally the same picture as I in this tutorial was showing you for Facebook. And you'll notice on the Instagram, you can even cross post it onto your Facebook business page. I would say every once in a while, it's okay to have the same thing on both places, but by and large, it's best practice to, to change things up and keep them different simply because your audiences, while the people might be the same, the type of content that you're putting out here um, tends to be received uh, better a certain style in one place versus the other. So here I've got my post and again publish your options here or publish or you can schedule it for a future time. So this is scheduling to Instagram and again I'm posting it on our Instagram feed and so I'm going to post this one at 8 o'clock um, a.m. on Instagram. Okay. So it's now saying that my post is being scheduled. So I've got my scheduling here on Instagram. I've got my scheduling here on Facebook. So now you see over here on my Facebook content library, you can see that it's scheduled in the scheduled status. If I go over back over, let me jump back over here to Instagram. Here it is on my scheduled status for Instagram. And that my friends is one of the tools that you can use right here in the creator studio. And that is accessed through your Facebook and just go to the search bar and type in creator studio and you'll be able to see all of that. So I encourage you give a creator studio a try particularly if you've not used any type of scheduling before or you've always felt like you had to keep going back and forth into different places, give Creator Studio a try. Uh, perhaps you're using a third-party app like Buffer or Hootsuite or uh, Synthshare, and not that you can't continue using those things, but if you give this a try since it doesn't cost you anything and you find great success with it, then it might be a way that you can save yourself some money there. So anyway, Creator Studio and give it a try and can't wait to hear how it works for you. All right, good luck to you and we'll talk to you soon. See ya.